Hello everyone, welcome to Tech World with MJ. This is Murari. So in today's session, I will show you how you can preview a file like Word file, PDF, images. When I'm seeing Word file, so it is means doc, docx, docs, ppt, xls, etc. So with the help of iframe in Angular, we can preview this particular file. So for your clarification for PDF and images, it is not required to use any external library or code because the browser is by default support uh, to open this PDF or images. But for doc file, I mean Word file, uh, we we just have either any external library or we have the code that is basically used to support to open the Word file in browser. For that, we have to do something. Okay, so if you are creating your uh, project newly, then uh, you might have uh, sometime this uh, the error like uh, skip execution, disabling or enabling uh, issue. So for that, you can just go and uh, execute this particular commands. Otherwise, uh, you will skip the first point. And then second point is as usual, ng new first project reach, uh, create the first project. This is your project name. Another one is change the project directory. And the last one is run whatever application you have created, okay? So this is the basic command that you need to consider, okay? So in my case, uh, I have already created a project. So I will just start from the uh, project, okay? So for Angular overview, a command overview, you can follow the command here as well. This is the official side of Angular. That's why you can go and check out this. So uh, the NPM install is basically uh, the command that you need to run in your applications to execute any commands of Angular, okay? And after that, uh, in the Angular uh, ng new project cd chain directory. So it means once you will click uh, create this particular project, so you will have to uh, go inside that project location. So cd that project name means uh, you, you you should have to enter that particular project location. Then you will just go and ng serve or ng serve o. So there are difference between ng serve and ng serve o is when you will click on ng serve, uh, I mean executed the ng serve, then it will provide you a URL. But that URL you will need to manually uh, input uh, in your browser. Either it in it is in uh, the Microsoft is or uh, the Chrome browser. But in case of ng serve o. So it means it will open directly uh, whatever or default browser is available in your system. So let's come in the directly coding. Okay, so I have created this particular project with this command. Okay, the first command I have executed ng new my first project. So instead of my first project, I have uh, given the name called file preview and uh, then I have changed the directory. So I will show you everything like Control C means here you can see I am under the file preview directory. Okay, so this is Angular file preview. This is the root folder. I will show you in my drive here. So if you will go in your drive, so here I have created a folder called Angular file preview demo, and inside I have created a project file preview. Okay, so that I have already created. So I will now not go to create the new project again okay so we'll go and start the further things so here i will just go and run that ng serve o so ng serve o means it will open uh, this particular link after building your application in whatever browser is by default available in your system okay so in my case the default browser is uh, microsoft is that's why it has opened that particular URL. So this URL is global URL, which is run over 4200. Okay, so it is open here. So, but in currently there's nothing here in the page because I have cleared everything. So currently I I haven't created uh, any new component. I have just used the by default component. When you will create that particular project, so you will, you will have a app component which is by default. So I currently am using that particular component. So in your scenario, uh, if you want to create the new component, so you will have the command for new component creations, or you can use that particular commands to create the new component. But in this demo, I will use that 
uh, whatever by default command we have so here you can see i have cleared everything from the html okay so nothing not any code is written here and uh, here also i have cleared everything so instead of writing code one by one i have already written the code uh, i will just copy and paste and I will explain you everything so don't worry about so i will just copy and will paste in our ps file app component dot ts file so as i already told you for this code there is no any external library is required i have just written the code and that code will perform the file opening and previewing activities so here you can see this is the by default angular library there is no any ex external library here and uh, uh, for the further i will explain you what code i have written okay so this is uh, the ts uh, code and another we have to use this code in our stm so i will explain you it's very easy i will explain you one by one so here i will just paste it and save now we'll come on our ts file so here uh, you are already familiar with this particular uh, code so this is just importing the library this is the selector selected and temp url and style url okay now we'll come here so this is the class app component class inside uh, we'll have the url so this is a, a online url that is basically uh, for the word document okay so i have i have put it that url so here you can see this is the uh, dot doc command uh, we'll have another doc called excel so this is the excel doc when you will open in your browser this particular url so it will uh, not open in your browser it will directly download so uh, you can go and check that particular url for uh, in, uh, excel and another is ppt so basically uh, the code and any external library is required for uh, office files not uh, very much required for uh, PDF or images because I already told you uh, the PDF and images is by default features of the browser that will be opened over there. But for talk, Excel, PPT, this type of office document, you must have to use an external library or code. Okay. So here you can see this is not a complete uh, doc file URL. Here you can see http view.office.live.com. So from http to so in this in this URL here you can see so from the http to here till equal to uh, is a base URL that we must have to use for open your file on the office viewer. Okay, so here you can see this here also and here. With the ppt also uh, i'm using http view.office.live.com so till equal to this is the base url that is basically used to open your word document over uh, office i mean microsoft office server okay and after that you will have your actual url so from http to here this is your actual url for pptx and from here to here this is actually your about excel and from here to and this is the actual url for talk okay so please be clear about that so till equal to this is the office talk url which is basically used to open this document okay now here you can notice with the uh, inside the url pdf i haven't used that office uh, view.office.live.com reason behind is this url will just open in the browser there is no any external library or server is required to open that's why uh, this just a uh, url uh, nothing else with that okay so this is the variable that variable will return that particular url so i have created this particular method so according to your scenario you can create it but it is just for your understanding i have created this particular method and here it is in case of doc i mean we are using the switch case so in case of doc uh, we will return the doc file in case of excel we will return the excel file in case of ppt we will return the ppt file and in case of pdf we will return the pdf file. that it's 
and uh, in case of default we will just return the doc file so uh, that it's in terms of uh, ts so you just need to consider this particular variable url save because this variable we are using in our html component okay so here you can see uh, so it is just for the understanding not any logical things here because uh, just uh, showing a button when you will click on doc then it will open a doc file when you will click on excel or ppt or pdf it will click, uh, open that particular file okay so but the main things that you need to consider is here so i have used the iframe so iframe is uh, not any external library it is just a property of angular here inside the src uh, i'm using url save so url save that variable we have initialized in our ts class okay so that it's here i have provided uh, how looks our frame is i mean it is depend on you uh, so currently I'm using the width 1100 pixels and height 500 pixels. You can change according to your requirement as well. It is just for uh, the height and width of uh, the file previewer. Okay. Now everything is looks okay. I have uh, saved this program. We'll just go and check in our default browsers. Okay. So here you can see uh, because currently I'm using doc, Excel, PPT, and PDF. So here you can see doc, Excel, PPT, and PDF. Okay. And this method I have uh, written in our TS class. And uh, I am passing the type of document. And that document is validated which type of URL is required. And that URL will be available under iframe. And that iframe will be open your document. So the, in the first case, I am click on, and by default, the doc is load. So now uh, here, you can just scroll this document and you can see everything in your document okay in in another case if you will click on excel so that excel here you can see that particular excel uh, that we are using as a url in our code another one is ppt so the ppt will take some time to load okay so ppt, PPT is loaded here you can see the nine presentation is there Okay, you can go and click on this to see the PPT and another one is PDF. So for PDF, there is no any extra activity is doing here. It is just opening inside the iframe. Okay, so the basically you need to consider for doc, Excel, PPT and other than this doc, Excel and PPT, if you will have some other extensions of Word file you can use here, there is no any issue. Just one thing I would like to show because uh, in our code, as a base URL, we have used the office view.officeapps.live.com. So this is the server. This is the server which is provided by Microsoft. Over there, this particular document is opening. So how you will able to understand? So when you will go and expand this particular document, when you will click on this full screen, okay? So here you can see HTTP view office dot live uh dot com okay so here you can see this but base url is uh i mean extended with that particular url which you are using so in in case of uh excel as well when you will click on this button so here you you can see the http view dot office dot live dot com this is the base url and whatever url is used for that particular excel is available so this is the things that you need to consider in case of loading your word file or document uh, with the help of iframe and angular so that is uh, for this session if you feel this video is looks helpful then please subscribe our channel and uh, like and share with your friends okay